What's up, guys? I'm here with familiar face, Tom Dozel, once again advancing to the top 16 at U.S. Nationals. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm very excited to uh, yeah. be playing in day three of Nationals. You don't sound too excited, but yeah. is this kind of... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, has this kind of become like everyday thing? I mean, every year it seems like you make top 16. Are you just kind of used to it by now? Actually, uh, several people have said that to me, and it's actually not. It's very difficult to just continuously keep winning, and although I haven't played perfectly, I've made some questionable plays, yeah. but... I just need to keep playing very well in order to continue to advance because especially this last game where for the majority of the game game one and game two my luck was really bad. I was drawing all the wrong things at all the wrong times, getting a very slow dark ride out where he got a very quick dark ride yeah. out. But then my super consistent deck eventually started actually working consistently in uh, the end of game two and game three, so yeah. Actual win the top 32 game. Uh, great. So, I mean, yeah, you can't overlook the fact that you made it past a thousand people so far, and you're yeah. one of the 16 remaining. So, it's really a great accomplishment. You made top eight last year. You made the finals before. Uh, you made top four as well. Right? Yeah, I made top two, top four, two top eights, top 16, and two top 32s. And here you are again. So, you're running the straight dark ride deck. Yep. Have you run into any trouble yet with any Bioplume decks or anything like that? I've actually only played one Bioplume deck round, f yeah, round five. Is the Excel Gore Mew Bioplume deck. Yep. And I was lucky enough to go first, which hasn't happened yet today, oh. other than the game that I went first by default in yeah. the last round. Went, went first and got a turn to Dark Rye and killed enough of his stuff to, as to where he, when he finally got Bioplume out, uh, it was too late and the game was already over. Oh, okay. So, are you dreading facing other Bioplume decks or do you not care? Are there even any left in the tournament? I'm not sure. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, if there are any left in the tournament, I don't think so because in top cut, Bioplume decks are pretty slow, so... If they can win both games, they'll obviously beat me, but if I win one game just because of how slow the decks, decks are, and in fact I can just take several prizes before they get set up, I think I'd probably win on time in top cards. Yeah, I agree. The, the time limit's always been the worst part about Bioplume decks. Yeah. Now, you're in the top 16, you already have your invitation to Worlds, so what are your expectations for the rest of the tournament? Do you think you can win? Well... If I get lucky enough, I definitely have a possibility to uh, win the tournament. You know, as long as I don't screw up and play terribly in the uh, like final final rounds like I usually do. <laughs> but it basically just comes down to luck and being able to keep drawing consistently. And my opponents draw the right things at the right time, they can probably win. Because on paper, most decks actually beat my deck. But because of uh, my speed and consistency... I've been able to do very well thus far, just overpowering my opponents. Okay. Uh, are there any players that are left that you don't want to face? Uh, to be honest, I'm not even sure who's left. Okay. But I think uh, Jason Krasinski is still in top 32, Jay Horan, and a few other uh, good players. Uh, Kettler, he was still in it. I'm not even sure who's still in it. So, uh, and I'm not even sure who I'm playing. Top 16, so. All right, just thought I'd ask. Uh, now, is there anyone else you want to thank or say hi to or anything like that? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, you and everybody in the Pokemon community. Like I said in my previous interview, you're all great. You're the reason that I still play this game. You're the reason that I'm here right now helping me with bouncing ideas off of you to help me improve my deck, playtesting with you to help me improve my play. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys in the community, so I'd like to thank all of you. And I'd like to thank the Top Cut. <laughs> Your show is excellent. I watch every episode. Thank you. It both help me, me keep, uh, keep up and keep current with the game, and it's very uh, uh, funny to watch you guys. It's a very entertaining <laughs> show. All right, well, thank you. I wish you the best of luck. Hope to see yeah, you become you. national champion. Yeah, thanks. See you tomorrow.